uh, this uh, evening. Yes, this evening. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Our God is a good God. He's a loving God. He's awesome. So Amen. the Bible says the just shall live by faith. Mm -hmm. So as the just live by faith, we also, we are included that we shall live by faith. So uh, yes. my message is God is building faith in his people. God is building mm -hmm. faith in his people. So without faith, it is impossible to please God. And yeah. we walk by faith, not by sight. And without, mm. you know, faith without works it is dead. Amen. Yeah. So Paul writes to the church of Rome. And he, mm -hmm. he had something interesting to tell me, to tell, to tell us that we will look, uh, maybe uh, let's, let's go and read on uh, in the book of Romans chapter number, maybe we need to read first. Uh, Romans chapter one, uh, chapter one, verse 15 to 17. Yari, that is why I am so eager to preach the gospel also to you who are at Rome. So Paul was addressing the, the Romans. He was mm -hmm. saying to them, uh, he's, uh, he, I am eager, so eager to preach the gospel also to you he you know he he was preaching the word he had that eager to preach the word to the romans amen mm -hmm. and remember uh, paul was a prisoner at rome so mm -hmm. and you know because he he was not you know he was he couldn't stop because of prison or he couldn't you know say you know I'm leaving. I'm not uh, going to preach the word of God. So he pressed on because he, he knew very well that, you know, with God, all things are possible. So he says, you know, I'll preach this word. I'll preach the word of God. And verse 16 says, I am not ashamed of the gospel of God because it is the power of God for the salvation to everyone who believes first for the Jews, then for uh, the Gentile. He's not ashamed. Even us as children of God, we don't have to be ashamed of preaching this gospel because it's got power of God to salvation. So, you know, and if you preach this word, you know, to every one of us, they'll be saved because the word is carrying the power of God. So that is why it says he, he, it, it was preached, you know, to the Jew and then for, uh, to the Gentile. So we are all the Gentile and, and then the Jews are the people of Israel. They are the people of, uh, I'll say, of Jesus Christ. So as we are the Gentiles, so as we receive this word, we are receiving the salvation. We are saved by the blood of Jesus. So 17 years. For in the gospel, a righteousness of God is revealed, a righteousness that is by faith, from first to the last, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. So Amen. for in the gospel of righteousness for, from God is revealed. So in that word, in the word of God, the righteousness of God shall be, is revealed. Amen. So Paul was uh, as it is written, that the just shall live by faith. In other words, Paul was saying it was written also in the Old Testament. Amen. So the gospel, the gospel, in the gospel, a, righteous, a righteousness from God is revealed. And in the gospel is the righteousness of God. So the gospel Hallelujah. reveals the righteousness of God. So there's no yeah. way uh, that anyone can be righteous or become right, righteous without the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. Yeah. So because Amen. there is the gospel is the righteous is the righteousness of God. For it mm. is written, 
the just shall live by faith. Yes. So the just shall live by faith. So when you look mm. in Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 4, uh, we are told, Habakkuk 2, verse 4, I wrote it. Behold, the proud, his soul is not upright in him, but the mm -hmm. just shall live by faith. So the just shall live by faith. So if you are upright, if you are proud, you know, in your soul, there's no how that you can be called the just. But right. if you are humbled, or if you are, you know, upright with mm -hmm. God, so you be called the just, you be called the just, like Job. The Bible says in this one of Job that he was an upright man. He hates sin, he shunned evil, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So he was upright. He was the just. So uh, as a child of God, if you are saved, you are born again. You are mm. just. So yes. uh, in the in, in Romans uh, chapter one, verse uh, that 15, 16, 17, it's just the same as uh, uh, in Habakkuk chapter two, verse four, that the just shall live by faith. So mm. but Habakkuk prophesied to the people in Judea, saying, remember, Jesus is from uh, the tribe of Judah. And Habakkuk mm. was telling, you know, Habakkuk, he saw, he saw a vision in, in, in chapter one. He saw mm. the vision of the Samarian, how they were, you know, they were being captured by the, mm. by, by, by the, by the, what do you call it? They were in captured by the Babylonians. They were in captured mm -hmm. in Babylon. So they were, you know, they were, they were living like slaves and they were, you know, they were, they were far from God because why? They sinned against God. You know, God in the beginning, he, you know, he chose uh, Israelites to be his mm -hmm. people. And the Israelites on the way, as mm -hmm. the Lord was taking care of them from, you know, from the Egypt uh, to the promised land, they were doing a lot of things. They were doing negative things until the time that, you know, God decided to, you know, to split them. So the, 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 the children of Israel, the Samarian, they were split from, uh, from Judah because of the sin that they've committed. So they were, uh, you know, worshiping the idols. They were, you know, living a wicked life and all this thing because uh, Habakkuk was a prophet of God. So God reveals this thing to them. They were, they, they, they refused because Habakkuk tried to show them that, you know, you a uh, tribe of Judah, don't try, don't try to be like, you know, to, to be like the children, uh, the children of Samaria. Because if you can see how the children of Samaria suffered, you will cry. Mm -hmm. So they didn't even listen to him. He tried to tell them, that you know you are going to suffer, uh, you are you are not going to you are going to be a slave. You are going to you know things are not going to be okay with you. But they just they didn't. Mm -hmm. So even us today, we know we preach the word of God to people, and they don't mm -hmm. listen. You know until they get into trouble, it's when they will remember. Sometimes they even mm -hmm. die. They go into that situation and they end up dying. Because of mm -hmm. not listening to the to the word of God, so mm -hmm. uh, Ju Judah walk up, uh, you know, upright, or you you otherwise you are going to suffer. Judah, I'm talking yeah. about you. I'm talking about me. That if I don't walk, you know, uh, upright before God, I am going to suffer. So Judah, we don't listen. So Habakkuk was troubled by Judah and Judah was not listening and he, he was not even paying attention. And the more Judah, uh, uh, Habakkuk was talking to, the, to them is the more they were, you know, they were messing up. They were not, you know, turning, they were turning away from God. So when you see Habakkuk mm -hmm. chapter one, verse one, the Bible says the burden 
which the prophet Habakkuk saw. Uh, what Judah was doing in any away from God was very bad for Habakkuk. So Habakkuk want, didn't want them to go and face the same problem that uh, the Samarian uh, went through. Even us, when we preach, uh, we preach to people, hey, sometimes they don't even listen. They end up being right. in trouble. They end up you know, facing troubles. So um, Habakkuk cried to God for them in verse two. So he cried for them and because death and destruction is on the way. So Habakkuk understand the times and the season. So these people, they were, you know, they were, they were not there, they were far. You know, they were in, they are doing their things. They are worshiping their gods. They are creating their gods. They are doing a lot of things that were not pleasing God. So Habakkuk, you know, was trying to show them that, you know, uh, it's just around the corner before the Lord destroys, destroy you. Because he has, he, in, the, in the Bible, there's a, there's a way where the Lord says, uh, you know, the army of the Babylon or the army of Ch uh, children have no mercy. Mm -hmm. they, they didn't have mercy to the, to the children of, of, of Samaria. They killed mm -hmm. the prophets, they killed the kings, they killed the family, you know. Mm -hmm. So he sees them uh, ready. He sees, you know, Abakuk see, you know, the, the, that the battle is coming. The, the, mm. you know, the, 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 the Babylonians that are coming to attack them. So, this, yeah. you know, uh, he, 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 he wanted them, you know, to come and confess. So, uh, as a child of God, we need to make corrections in our lives. We need to mm -hmm. listen to people. We need to listen, you know, to listen to you know to people who are before us and or to listen to the prophets you know we have to listen even you know we, you have to be teachable you have to be yeah. able to be teachable you know mm. so uh so these people the 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 Jew, Juden, the judah they didn't listen they were just mm. after their things so when you look in some 46 verse 1 Let's just read Psalm 46, verse 1. Psalm 46. Psalm 46, verse 1. The God is and strength and ever present help in trouble. So mm -hmm. let us go back to God and remember where our strength comes from. So our, mm -hmm. our strength is not coming from the finances that we have, uh, or the education that we have, or the contact uh, that we have, or the fellow workers that we have, you know, the, 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 mm -hmm. the help is not coming from them, but the strength, it comes from God. So in our difficulties, he is present to help us. So mm -hmm. if we come before him and, you know, show him or ask him or tell him he will mm -hmm. you know he will he will answer us and he will take us he, he will give us that that strength and he will take us us from that trouble that we are facing amen so amen. and also if we can go back again to some some chapter 30 chapter 30 verse 5 says for his anger lasts only a moment, but favor lasts a lifetime. So mm. weeping may remain for a night, but rejoicing come in the morning. Mm. Uh, so, so for those that are going through uh, some stuff, I came to tell you that weeping may enjoy, uh, enjoy for the night, but joy comes in the morning. So everything is going to be okay. So uh, it's going to be okay in our lives. Whatever the situation that we are facing, 
we are going to, you know, we are going to overcome it by the name of Jesus Christ. So that is why Paul was saying, the just shall live by faith. Whether you are in pain, whether you are in sorrow, know that All right. you, you shall live, you, you are living by faith. Regardless of the situation, maybe it's an employment that you are facing, or maybe a disappointment or anything, you know, that is paining your, your heart. Know that, you know, the, 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 the just shall live by faith. And I think mm. we can also go to Isaiah 43. Isaiah 43, Isaiah 43, verse uh, number 11. Verse number 11, it says, I even, I am the Lord, and apart from me, there is no savior. There is no savior. So God is the right person to cry to. Mm -hmm. When you are facing anything, go mm -hmm. back to God. When you see that, you know, uh, you, are, you are not right before God, go back to God. He is the right person to give you the answer. Whatever you have in life, none of those cannot save your life. So, you mm -hmm. know, you must know that, you know, we are saved by the blood of Jesus. We are saved by God. So God says that there is no saver except me. That is why he says, I am the Lord. And apart from me or beside me, there's no one. So God, mm -hmm. that is why I was saying, God is building our faith. He's building our faith. So you mm -hmm. need to know that he is your savior. You need to know that he's the one who can save you. Mm -hmm. So Paul says to them that receive him, to them that gave power to become sons of God. So God is giving us power to become the sons of God. So if you go to uh, X4, X4 verse, um, Verse 4, verse, verse 11. 11. It says, he is the stone you build, you build us rejected, which has become the cat stone. Salvation is found in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given to me by which we must be saved. So we have to come back to God. We have to come back to God. Uh, whatever we have done in the past, whatever we have done, you know, we have or maybe wrong things that we have done. Let's come back to God because He's the cornerstone, is the cornerstone. Uh, the other Bible says that is the, the cornerstone that the builders rejected. And sometimes mm -hmm. when they are building, they'll take that stone and you know and build again with it. So uh, salvation is from the Lord. You can get the, the salvation from God. So today uh, we are called to come back to God. We are called to be the righteousness of God, to be mm. the people who are saved. So we need God in our lives. We need God to take us through, you know, all circumstances. We need God, you know, to save our lives, even the lives of our children. So that is why normally when we pray, we pray for our families, we pray for our children. So, you know, Habakkuk was crying like me and you as we are crying for the nation, as we are crying for the people of God. He was crying for the Samaritan because we are called as an intercessor to stand in the gap for the nation, to stand in the gap for our families. So uh, mm -hmm. that is why sometimes God can reveal things, you know, things that, you know, strange to you, things that they can make you to cry. So in that way, go back to God, <laughs> cry to God. So when you look in Habakkuk chapter, Habakkuk chapter number, if you can go back to Habakkuk, our main scripture, number one to number one. So, 
uh, number one, uh, this two. Yari, how long, oh Lord, must I call for help, but you do not listen or cry out to you? Violence, but you do not save. You do not save. So how long? So even yourself, you can still go back to God. You can say, you can go back to God and say, how long are you going to answer me? How long are you going to, you know, how, how long are you going to take me out of this situation? How long yeah. are you going to, uh, to turn the captivity, uh, you know, to freedom? How long, Lord, how long? You can, you know, you can come to God trying like Habakkuk. To, yeah. to ask God how long he's going to help us, how long he's going to deliver us, how long he's yeah. going to heal us, how long he's going to, you know, he's going to bring or, or he's going to, you know, answer us with anything that we have prayed for in the name of Jesus. So we have yeah. to come to the Lord and ask him how long. So Habakkuk was crying to the Lord in that manner for how long, God. How long? Hallelujah. So uh, God is building our faith. So he yes. is our faith. So I need mm. you, uh, you know, to help, to ask God to help you to see, you know, the things the way Habakkuk was seeing, you know, to give you the third eye, to see yes. the things in a different way. Because mm -hmm. most of our time when you go through stuff, we give up. We don't yeah. even pray. We don't even, you know, uh, 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 consult God. We just, mm -hmm. you know, we just, you know, say we just rest. Or we just give up in another way. Because you will be angry or you will be bitter, depressed, just like that. But Paul is pointing us to Habakkuk, that when yeah, we are facing right. stuff, go back. Go yeah, back yeah. to the word of God. Make the yeah. word of God standard of your life. And mm. when you do that, you are de developing your faith. And later on, when you face something, you will see that, ah, you know, that day when I had this situation, I went back, you know, to God. I did this, I did this. So you'll remember yourself. You'll remember the things that you did that time. So that is why I'm saying that uh, tonight, let us, you know, come to God. Let us find, you know, our refuge in God. Let us find our strength in God. Let us, you know, come to God with a heart that says, I want to be born again. I want the salvation. I want God in my life. I want Jesus Christ to be, you know, the, the, the ruler of my life. I want Jesus Christ to be the pillar of my life, the pillar of my children, the pillar of my family. Yeah. Amen. So Amen. that's how you are building your faith. So that is why uh, uh, Paul was, you know, directing us to Habakkuk. Because Habakkuk mm. uh, is the one who saw all these things. He saw them. He saw the Samaritan going through stuff. He saw the, the you know, the, the tribes of Judah, you know, uh, living God and uh, worshiping their idols. And he says to them, be careful, be careful. Otherwise, you are going to face the same uh, 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 tribulation that the, the Samaritan went through. Amen. And so uh, uh, let us point every one of us to God. Let us preach Amen. Christ who saved our lives. So Amen. let us not jealous, but we know that some they'll be angry, but we have to tell them that in God, you'll be justified. In the word of yeah. God, you'll be justified. So that is why the Bible says, the just shall live by faith. Amen. Mm. Amen. 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 So we Hallelujah. thank the Lord. We thank the Lord right now. Uh, maybe you have anything to say. We can do so.